guys, Coral Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. Just us this week, this is Mailbag 216, everything off the table, Aaron. <laughs> so, you wanna know what I really think of Rick and Calvin? They're what? great friends, uh, but I'd never tell them. That's, yeah, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't either. They'd First, ah! <laughs> 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 Why would you tell them that? Big toxic hug, Eric. <laughs> toxic civilian. We get mailbag, guys. Not reacting. This one's made of plastic and has my name. And it's spelled right. Oh, oh man. It's not Aaron like Attack on Titan? Eric, do you get excited when people spell your name right? My last name. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Like, that's like. I get, yeah, I do. Like, Aaron sometimes gets misspelled. Yeah. But not as often. Yeah. Because of the AA Ron thing. Ricky oh. gets misspelled, misspelled, but Ricky used to get misspelled all the time. Mm. I.e. Yeah. See, the thing that's weird, like. I, you, your name gets mistaken for like other last yeah. names. Everyone always knows my last name, yeah. but they spell it different ways. Yes. Because there's so many different ways to spell it. There's one correct way to spell it. Ugh. I mean, you can change the letters and it still makes the same nap. It's like for my sister's no. name. Whenever we look to get like keychains or whatever that had names on them, Hannah would always have an H at the end. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm not gonna look at what's under it yet. I'm gonna read. Okay. Eric and Aaron, hey guys, like you, I absolutely agree. Agents of Shield is one of the best shows I've seen. <sighs> From the writing of the characters, I consistently uh, it consistently impressed me season after season. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, as all good things do, it recently came to an end. Mm. Aaron, I know you saw my post on Instagram, but I'm not sure if Eric did. Regardless, I wanted to send a copy of the poem I wrote commemorating the series finale the other week. This is Mac. I think it's Mac. It must be. He, yeah. Mac had a poem. Mm -hmm. um, I think I saw it on Instagram, maybe. I don't know if you guys read any poetry, and I'm certainly not a professional by any means, mm -hmm. but I still thought you might like it. I'd love to know what you think. Um, though my tribute to S.H.I.E.L.D. absolutely doesn't top your time traveling uh, throughout the series, fantastic job by you both, and especially by Billy. Hope you and the rest of the crew are doing well. Your friend, Matt. P.S. There's a secret in the poem that I'm wondering if you'll notice. Okay. I'll write the answer down at the bottom of the page in case you can't or want to cheat. Now, have you ever gone to, like, a poetry jam? Okay, Aaron reading poetry is going to be a treat. No. No. Okay, so in order to give this a gravitas and um, respect, oh, this, this cool. deserves. I'm not snapping, Eric. No, okay. Do in your old man voice. What? Yeah, that'd be good. Old man voice. Everything an old man says is wisdom. Oh, that's just a yeah, there you go. Oh, you got it. Do the warm-up. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, what do you think? Seven years, level seven. Something like that? <laughs> it's like Decker Kane. That won't get annoyed anyone. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. Look how long this is. He <laughs> <laughs> loses voice by the end of it. Seven years, level seven. Mm. To think it's really been that long. Resurrections brought by cobalt hands before it all begins again. As our lives tick by, the days revolve and the seasons turn, turn, turn. Every challenge overcome grants us this moment to ward off the threat, yeah. igniting something in our hearts, in our minds, or in our souls, calling us to choose this life and ultimately each other. How funny it is looking back at it now office dwellers, cryptic hackers, uh, enemies still hidden, may Calvary's charge the bloodstained fields mm. and water the petulant skies. Every success, it comes from you, this team, and what we've become. Lend me your strength, I will lend you mine, and when we come together, we will be that shield. Never giving in, daisies will grow, mockingbirds sing, and life can begin anew. It's not easy being green. It's not an easy path, I know. Nothing we do is guaranteed. Try as we might to hold our footing, sometimes we stumble, sometimes we trip. Even the strongest among us can fall to fear and shame. Riding the ghosts of our past to places we can't always follow, vengeance and fury, enough to let the dark take hold. Narrow minds draw strong-willed men and women to their ruin, to rise up against all odds to be the shield around the earth. I've seen that strength in all of you when I couldn't in myself. Over the years, through every mission, not a single moment wasted. Electric hearts and wired souls, normal lives, and those far more inhuman. From bottom of oceans to planets afar, we always find our way back home. 
to each other and to this team. Rising tides, the ebb and flow, gave birth to all we are, centipedes and flower dresses emerging at the dawn. Every afterlife we've seen, the journey there, the journey back, it's a magical place to say the least. Every lemon given is another friendship gained. Nor do we forget all those we've lost along the way. To their memory we fight, and through it all we carry on. Like lighthouses guide lost sail sailors, battling storms on turbul uh, turbulent sea, our strength, our bond, will guide us through. Grounds quake beneath our feet, and time and again we throw ourselves wholly into the fight and towards each other. So when the world turns on us, or if we turn on ourselves, wear your badge with honor. This means something, for we are not agents of nothing. It carries more weight than we could have ever imagined. Cursed, they, call, uh, they called us, and maybe they're right, but that's never stopped us before, so who's like us? Damn few, inexplicably, we are more than the sum of our parts as we have always been. Vastness of space, of time, of creation, of death or of love or of family found, it's not enough, never enough, to keep us apart. Soft beginnings often grow to places never dreamed. Iron men and ancient gods led us down this unquantifiable path. Only even after everything, those we've avenged and those we failed, we're still not prepared after all this time for a final spy's goodbye. <clears throat> I'm not sure if a lot we're... of characters' names in there. It's a lot of references I did not recognize. And there's a lot of there's references, to all kinds of stuff. In there. It is a <laughs> ton a of episode, episode titles. titles. Yeah. There's oh. there are episode titles in there a lot. There's names of characters in there a yeah. lot. There's but specifically there are specific episode titles. Yeah, yeah, for too. sure. Turn, turn, turn. Um, <laughs> what do you say? P.S. There's a secret in the poem that I'm wondering if you'll notice. I'll write the answer down at the bottom of the page in case you can't or want to cheat. Okay. Uh, uh, I think it's every episode title of the show. There's over 100 now, I don't know. <laughs> that should be a lot. Check the first um, letter of every line. It was yeah, capitalized. I'm trying to look at that. Never gonna Fuck you, give Aaron. you up. <laughs> it looks like the first one says stra strategic. Egypt. Homeland, Homeland. Oh. intervention, intervention. Le oh, what's the next enforcement, one? enforcement, Le logistics division. division, shield. Yeah, we need a better name. <laughs> so he Very made nice. a line for gotcha. each letter of it and then spelled it out with that. That's really cool. Very cool. Well, I see. Wait, let's see. Right. In episode titles, it's an acro acrostic poem. Acrostic. So look at the first letter of each line. Oh, I thought it was like Lucifer stuff or something. He's like, you're now cursed. That's awesome, Mac. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. Very good. Very Thank nice. You. I tried to do my interpretation. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you? Yep. Yeah, he was making hand signals and signs and stuff. He was like the sign language interpreter. I like the, he put it on like Raw. shield, like, it looks Quintus. like it's like a yeah. special document that we got in. I was like, Quintus, it's a mission. You ever hear that one guy, there's like some guy that actually got real interpreting jobs just faking signing and no one knew he was, he didn't know what he was doing. He was just really confident at it. He got to like, Pretty high up there in terms of like getting in like some pretty big stage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just doing stuff. Thank you, Mac. Very nice. Thank you. The thing about it is that he probably would accidentally get some things right. Yeah. Maybe insult people. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next package. Oh, please do not bend. Ah! I didn't. I slapped it. Oh, gee. Man, I thought that was like a weird shaped pork thing on your shirt. Like it kind of like, it looks like his eye mm. fucking thing. I'm like, fucking okay. what is that? Gotcha. Maybe the helmet's based on the pork. Ah, <laughs> what, what is it? Just in time for you guys mm. to react to this. It's Lovecraft Country. Ah, Lovecraft nice. Country. That's a really cool poster. It yeah, is a really cool it poster. It's probably spoilers on there, sorry. Well, uh, considering so the name of the show, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know J.J. Abrams was involved in it. I knew Jordan Peele. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's Not a cool. single lens player yet. I uh, I randomly stumbled upon a uh, peel and uh, key and peel key and peel skit thing, where like it's a messed up texting, where like mm -hmm. one guy's like, "Hey, do you even want to go out tonight?" And, like, 
do I even want to go out tonight? Well, that's nice of him to think about me, you know? Like, it's like back and forth, and the guy's like, you motherfucker! Like, yeah. he's getting angry the way he's typing. But doesn't know the context. But at the very end, the thing, it made me think of uh, Lovecraft a little bit, because, like, he shows up, and he has a baseball bat with nails and stuff in it, and he goes, yeah, first round's on me. Let me get this and this for my buddy. Hey, man, hey, what's up with the bat? Oh, I just brought you a baseball bat with nails in it. <laughs> and he's like... For my post-apocalyptic Jackie Robinson costume, how'd you know? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's and I, and I, then I thought of like Lovecraft because of it. It was just funny. That's fun. I love their stuff. It's very cool. Doesn't say who it's from. Yeah. But Five. it shipped international from. Mm. Thank TV, you. So. Well, who sends us a poster for every show we do? I don't know. Fantastic. Eric, Eric, do that tingle. Uh, thank you, voice that you do so much from Legends of Zelda. Oh. Thank you! Yeah, that one. Yeah. You that. Okay. Does that name Tingle? Wait, yeah. Yeah. Does Tingle, Tingle actually speak in the Legends of Zelda game? Tingle? And yes, he says, that's not Tingle. Is that that's Tingle? Beetle. Beetle? Beetle. Do the Beetle. But though Tingle goes, <laughs> Koopa Koopa La! <laughs> and then he wishes his wand and your map fills up. Koopa Koopa La! Yeah, something like that. All right. Beetle. But Beetle uh, goes, thank you! All right. Yeah, I messed up. That. Yeah, you did, and I uh, encouraged it. I don't so know. I was like, yes. I don't know which <laughs> game has Tingle or Beetle in it. Uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, and then Beetle is in Wind Waker and Breath of the Wild, and something else. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Beetle. He's the guy. He's at every stable. Oh, that that guy that Thank carries you. the bugs. Yeah, yeah. his yeah. name's Beetle. It's in the name, Aaron. The buck hearing guy. <laughs> All right. He has the big giant pack, like it's a beetle. <laughs> yes, Rick. yes. It was great. So I handed Eric one of these, and he goes, Damn it, Aaron, I don't have a knife. Give it to someone else. I'm like, oh no, that's for Eric. He goes, okay. I'm like, this one's for you. He's like, damn it. Oh, okay, I get you. <laughs> Ooh, he... yes. Hmm? Yeah. Got it like on. Oh, nice. That looks cool. I like that. Believe in the me that believes in you. Calvin, really did cool. you see the, oh. the fan art thing? Of Garen Lagan. Oh God, it's no. so good. Where it. would that be? I'll show. Rick's got it. It's it's on my back. It's on my amazing. Computer. Is it at my expense? No, no, it's it's. They made us. And I feel like it's at Rick's expense. Garen Lagan. No, it? it's awesome. But maybe that's also at Aaron's expense. I don't know. Well, I think who you're thinking of is actually Calvin Aaron. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's at your expense. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'm okay with it. It's bothersome a little bit. I was the Hoff, and I didn't approve. I mean, it's awesome. Now I've it. I'm gonna go shirtless all the time. Ah! Is that amazing? Isn't that great? <laughs> Where's Aaron? Oh, that is great. Do you see Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw that, I was like, oh, that's cool. You know I, what's really great? I wish I got to be in it. Is when he, <laughs> he's a cocoon, it looks more like Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> It is at Aaron's expense. Oh, that that's so great. I love hey, it. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. What do you mean? It looks like more like me. Because it's smooth and shiny. Calvin, I'm not bald. And without texture. I'm not bald. I'm just taller than my hair. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. What'd you think of that? What? <laughs> when I mean that? I mean that like last week. God damn it. Yeah, wait. That's an old, that's a, that is an old it's, joke. I'm it is. I'm taller than my hair. It is. Like, you know yeah. how... Listen. Oh, I know it's an old joke. No. Because both guys say it! What? My hair's getting old, it's shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still growing. This is from Mr. No Name. What's with it's Mr. No Name? That doesn't work. Mr. No Name. It is. It doesn't work either. A Justice League. Oh, Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Oh. That mistake. Koto Bayuki figure. Woo! That. Looks that really is a cool. pretty looks figure. Really looks really nice. good. That's is that how? That's how Jordan. It looks really good. Awesome. Nice. That's sweet. The packaging is actually really cool. I don't want to open it right now. Yeah. Because it has like. It has the. Yeah. Well, I like the back of it too because it's like yeah. slightly opaque. Yeah. So you can kind of see. You can still kind of see him back there. Minute. Yeah. yeah. It's really I good. really like this. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. No Name. Thank you. It's really cool. We should be having a Green Lantern show on HBO Max one day. I don't know when, but yes. one day. Who would we want as cool. Green Lantern? Ryan Reynolds? Uh, no. No. Someone else? John Diggle, man. Hey. <laughs> that's, that's always the answer.
Mm. What you got? Yeah. You. Been watching too much Cobra Kai. Not enough IQ. <laughs> Not enough meat. Everybody knows you go over your back. Black Clover. Mm. Ooh, more of a Black Clover. Season one. Blu-ray, sweet. Black Clover is an ongoing series currently in its third season. It takes place in a world where magic is everything and two rivals strive to become the wizard king from your friendly neighborhood Shinigami from Manny. 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 Thank you, Manny. That's great about anime. Everyone wants to be king of something. Wizard king, pirate king. Love it. Mm. <laughs> Very cool. Shing. This is what you might like the swords, Eric? Yeah. Shing. Yep. Shing. It would be like... <laughs> <laughs> <It'll> be like <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Manny. Appreciate it. Maybe at some point we'll uh, we'll do some Black Clover. I Remember know. in the Merlin with... Uh, what's his name? Sam Neill. Sam Neill. He'd pick out... He'd get a scalper and he'd just for hours just like hear the sword sing. Yeah. Just like that. But real. Yeah, but that's a magical sword. No. I'm th- I think it was. Yeah, it was. I'm saying it's like that. <laughs> it was 100% a magic best sword. Best example of that. And that's the best example of Merlin. So the closet sword didn't go zing whenever really you were doing the light. What about Merlin from Merlin? No. What about Merlin from the Disney uh, Better. one? Better. Sword in the Stone? Sword in the Stone, yeah. I think Kid and King Arthur's Court, that's not it. Um, what's it called? <laughs> oh, and Sam Neill, like, I don't know what he's doing, but he like he like uses like a vine spell and somebody. He's like, he's so awesome. <laughs> he's yeah, like, exactly. wait, he's like, he's like, He's a hand wizard. Yeah, I'm just like, fucking buy it, man. I love buy that it. Movie. The miniseries. Sam Neill doing anything. It just makes me feel like, yeah, he could really do that if he wanted to. Don't <laughs> piss him off. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh my god, it's that one of my favorite things. That is a reaction. It's one of my favorite That's things ever. On the reaction poll. All right, we have a, a letter so here from Daniel Connolly. <laughs> hey, Blind Way. First off, let me preface this with I would have handwritten this, but my handwriting kind of sucks. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, Rick, thank you so much. Rick understands. That's yeah. all right. Thank you. Anyway, my name is Danny, and I got into your videos with the Clone Wars Ooh. and other Star Wars properties about a year ago. Good. I watch quite a bit of other stuff now, including Atla and Locke. Um. Your videos cheer me up as I have pretty bad asthma and am allergic to dairy, eggs, and nuts. Man, oh, man. you should not so breathe. that gets hard sometimes. You shouldn't breathe that stuff in. That sucks. That not related to asthma? Mm. Um, Can you be allergic to eggs and not chicken? So that gets hard sometimes when I can't do or eat something. But uh, your videos always make me smile, especially the holiday special. I laughed oh. so hard. Oh. I included What's the two yeah. DVDs. Okay. No, oh, they're DVDs. Yep. And it is Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Part 1. Okay. And Part 2. Sweet. And I edited the, the finale of The Clone Wars together with oh, Revenge of the okay. Sith. I get you. It didn't fit on one DVD, so I separated yeah. it into two. We've all been doing this. This could be used on The Clone Wars catch-up for the final arc or separately, but I just thought you would like to see how it was meant to be viewed. Disclaimer, <laughs> it may not work in some new DVD players. Mm. It is an unofficial DVD yeah. that was burned from home, but any computer will play. Uh, it can be cast from there to a TV. The full 4K uncut version is available at uh, his a link. Google Drive. Uh, I'm still working on getting the video up there, but it will be once you get this. If you have trouble seeing it, you can email me at his email address. I once Facebook messaged you about how you edit videos, and my phone auto-corrected YouTubers to YouTubers, so I seem pretty crazy. Anyway, (laughs) sorry about that. Thank you guys for being so awesome. From Danny. Oh, thank you, Danny. Uh, Okay, I understand. My phone auto... Yeah. All caps is sometimes too. Yeah, we uh, we definitely uh, we won't go into too much detail about what all that can uh, uh, have on that. But I've seen a lot of people do this like as an edit- editing exercise, so it's pretty cool. And thank you for sending it. And what it looks like, custom DVD covers. Very yeah. cool. So yeah, thank you, thank you to Rick of the Castle Blind Wave. Mm. Castle. We're, we're still bats. we're still a cave though. Caves have bats. So, Castle. Castle. Calvin, I was attacked by a bat. Oh my god, Warstream. 
I heard. Did you see? Okay. From my stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, yesterday, like, watch out for that! What? Ah! 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 Yes! <laughs> Where are they? Put it on the back shelf. It's gotta go on the back shelf. It's gotta go they? somewhere. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's gotta be close to where Rick sits, so Let's Rick, see. maybe like. You don't, want, you don't want to block it. Maybe like on the bottom shelf, towards the middle, maybe. Like right where your dick is. Uh -huh. Where your dick is, Rick! I'll block that! Yeah, no, you're. Yes. Yeah. No, your dick! <laughs> There's a layer. It's gotta be closer to the middle. Yeah. Put it where you Switch switch Vader. Where your dick. Switch yeah. Vader? Yeah. For the yeah. spoon? That's, yeah, that's good. That's good right that's there. I like idea. that. Are you kidding me? It's pretty good. Nope. <laughs> not Rick, kidding. Below your chair. At all. Below your chair. Over here. Uh, um. Watch the room reaction. Authentic imitation of the spoon art from the room. <laughs> Why? Authentic imitation. Why do we make it? Amazing. Oh, here we go. This is the perfect compliment to your headshot of Tommy from Adrian. Thank uh, you, Adrian. Thank, thank you very, very much, much, Adrian. I love that so much. No. Put this note in the frame. <sighs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I can't believe there's merchandise in the room. I mean, you can't make money from good press. <laughs> you gotta squeeze as much money as possible out of people like Rick. Yeah. Rick, you covered Vader! This yeah, is ridiculous. That's pretty good. I approve. Alrighty, we have a Jesus. scroll that came apart, and it is a scroll. Demon oh, Slayer. Oh, I can't wait for that to come back. Yeah, so movie's coming first. Uh, Very cool. Is her mouth taped up? Karen, shut up. Karen, <laughs> catch up, and then ask that. I uh, it's I have to sh I have to show you guys. Maybe we'll react to it. But Team Four Star did a uh, summary in their style of the first season. Yeah? It's pretty, it's hilarious. So we might have to watch that or something. Yeah, we're ready pretty for good. It. Eric, you're crooked, you need to put the ends on it. Fixed. You didn't put those things on it. They didn't come on it. These are our bands and these things are for putting on the wall to hang it up. Yeah, but they slide onto it so you don't lose them. No! No! How are we gonna hang it up? <laughs> they can get thrown away! <laughs> good child. No. I'll get them. No! No! <laughs> This? I don't know what this is. This says Rick Aaron on it. Mm. Man, it's a lot of stamps in the front. That is a lot of stamps. Benjamin it Bangerang. also says Benjamin ah, Bangerang. They're cool stamps, though. Bangerang. So, could it be something for Rick and Aaron? Like, what would be something that That's we could have Castlevania? Castlevania? Or maybe it's something that we would like. There is a cup looking thing on it. But also, like, he puts a ton of shit in boxes, so it might not be anything that's. So he also never wastes space. Okay. Yuri on Ice, Young Victor. Ah! That's... That's not mine. Choice. That's for Rick. Llama Kicker Snaggables. Llama, llama. Red, Red pajamas. pajamas. Oh. Is this for a cat? Zoo? It could be definitely for a cat. Yeah, love the llama. The cat broke his little tube. Oh, like I was trying to fix it. I had to like yeah. rip it because like mm -hmm. the metal thing had like popped out of it. Yeah, and I'm like, it's gonna fucking run at this thing, dive into this tunnel, jab its eyeball out or something. So I like ripped it and tucked it back in there, trying to get it together. Didn't call patch. Did it have fun with it? I guess. I don't know. Oh, they would love that. Here's a real bird. Oh, cool. The uh, cats especially really like bright. Here's this lizard and then some seed. Or grass or something. That is catnip. catnip. Oh, dude, catnip. They're gonna. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be great, Aaron. Jumbo stuff, temptations. Temptations. They love temptations. You want a bite? No. Those oh. are dog treats. Tempt me, Frodo. I do not take it. Yo, oh, here's some letters. Fool me, it would wield a power to uh, terrible to me. So many times when Obi like Ooh. wants me to wants me to throw oh, something, it. but he won't give it to me. Not I'll be like, I'm not trying to rob you. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> yeah. uh, as I planned, maybe this is a cat trainer. <laughs> Crud cutter. It's, yeah, it's, it's for pet carpet cleaning. Gotcha. Yep. Need one of those. What, what the? What is this? Oh, that's a that's like a cat trainer guru guy, and that's his brand of toy. So you can put like little treats inside there. 
So they'll play with it, and then as they play with it, little treats will fall out. What kind of treats? Hot dogs. Yeah, Temptation yeah. treats. <laughs> Baked potatoes. Live I mean, goldfish. If I end up doing this shit, this cat's gonna like me. <laughs> Skip it ah, ah, That's ah, the plan. Litter pan wipes. Nice. Oh, nice. If you don't have, like, the, the um, slide out litter, you can use those to clean up. Bliss Buddy catnip toys. Catnip. I don't know any catnip. I've heard about it. It's your it's, cat gets high. It's basically drugs like for cats. ADD meds for cats. They either cat dice. Oh, nice. Oh, you can play D and D. They either get real excited or real calm. Uh, these look like little bitty snacks. Tuna flavor. Oh yeah. So those fit. In. Which of these treats are for Rick? I, I think the Yuri on rice. <laughs> what is this? That succulent man. Yuri on rice. Do I put the cat in this? What is yes. this? Yes. The vault. It's where you can pull the toys. I don't know. The building blocks that define cat mojo engage the raw cat instinct to build confidence. What? What does it do? The vault ensures you always have catnip infused toys ready to play. Oh, oh. so you can't get to the drugs. So you put your catnip stuff in here. Yeah. And then it's a drug box. Like infuse <laughs> it with catnip. And it seals the scent in, so oh. it, it... So that way you're not like messing with catnip and it's on your fingers and your cat's like and attacking your fingers. What do yeah, cats you're like asleep and what do, catch do with catnip? It stimulates like their uh, adrenaline and playfulness and like that kind of like instinct to just like fuck around. Their dopamine. My, my cat's a kitten. Yeah. It's already fucking around. It'll love it. It'll go crazy. Yeah. It'll rub its head all over it. It depends whether it inhales the fumes or eats it. Yeah. Some cats just don't do anything. Yeah, some, some cats really don't care. Like, Gigi just doesn't care. Some like, will go mad, mad and try to attack you. So be careful of that. So I, I they um, will break glass because they get a little superpower when they have it. Like, they'll, yeah, if, um, if they're running at a door... They will what? decimate the bird population on catnip. What? Like yeah. they attack birds? Okay. Yeah, it's like they're on cocaine. Yeah, but they gave you a bird to deal with that. It's like, it's like when your buddy like yeah. gets high on cocaine mm. and drunk, and then like he cleans his it, and your apartment. Yeah, it, it will probably hump this to death. What hump? I mean, it's not alive. But it's, a, it's a girl cat. Still to death. Oh, there's a note. I forgot. Girl cats hump, Aaron. Do That's how they establish dominance. No. It's Why do they bury their poop? Because it stinks. <laughs> because it, <laughs> it helps them avoid other predators. Mm. They can hide their... their Female hyenas yeah, have a fake penis to dominate the men. Why would what? you know this? And is that even true? Yes, it is. What'd you say? Female hyenas have a fake penis to dominate the men. Yeah. So right. they hump. What, what do they do with it? They, they swing it around. They take charge. <laughs> hey guys, so yeah. I originally had plans to make this a Rick Day gift. Oh, okay. Rick Day. But in the process of trying to make it happen, you guys put out your podcast, and I heard the terrific news. Mm. Congratulations, Aaron, on your new pussy. Been trying for a while. It inspired me to send this gift. We all know how suspicious you are. Aaron, so I thought, hey, why not make it addressed to both you and Rick? That way, you're more likely to think it's Castlevania or something. Aha! We did it! Right. Play the copulist. Sorry, so Rick. It is not. It is not. In fact, I kind of made this an Aaron gift, but I know you'll enjoy the it pop. Is not. Anyway, sending board games would probably be best through Amazon because they're weight. Mm. Aaron, you're going to need that stain remover for when. Your kitty decides to cough up them hairballs on your mattress or piss outside its litter box. To oh, yeah, spite she'll start you spraying. Because you didn't give it any attention like Obi. Mm. <laughs> Cats are cunning and vindic vindic vindictive. 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 I wanted to say vindicative. Vindicative. But vindictive. It's vindictive. What's the word I'm thinking of? Vindictive. Vindictive. Uh, <laughs> Creatures. I had five growing up, and one put a dead mouse it killed in my stepmother's shoe without anyone knowing. That's a gift. It was trying to please her. Yeah, it was trying to please her. Enjoy all the future memories you're about to make. Try to put some truth to these cat facts. 
in between the lies, so Aaron can't figure out which is which. I don't think it's a gift. It's like I don't want it. Cats are sacrificing things to you because they think you're a god. Yeah. Cats have a corkscrew penis. What? That's a duck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a explosive penis. That's they have to duck. film it in high it's speed a... to to catch it. Uh, there's, a, there's a great post someone did where they like they were tormenting one of their friends by they got a fake number and they start they sent the text back you have subscribed to Catfax if you'd like to keep subscribed to Catfax say yes if you'd like to cancel say no they went like no it's like Catfax number one and like they can fucking stop <laughs> it's like years they some Catfax <laughs> are you uh, sure you would like to unsubscribe from Catfax yes. Please subscribe to Catfax. You have doubled your Catfax subscription. <laughs> I'll put all You're ready for here. two Catfax a day. Rick, did you see Yuri on Ice Pop? I did. Very Great. nice. Thank uh, you, Benjamin. Such a good show. I love it. I love it so much. I, don't know if I, I love that that was on the, the front. There's rules. Unlatch the sides. Pour catnip into edges on bottom half. Do not pour catnip in center container. Add your favorite toys. Inside the vault, place top half, latch it, store toys in the vault to always have catnip infused toys. So oh. you fill the outer edge and then it just smells of catnip. Yep. That's and then it's like, is that what happens? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it just makes the toys smell like catnip. It's experiment. all the mess. Okay, so is it like, it's like kitty, kitty cocaine? Kind of. Yeah. Like they just get hyper and shit? Except, uh, they just really like hyper, it. Some cats get really sleepy. And some cats just don't care about it, like Nimue and Gigi. Okay, so it relaxes them or makes them hyper? Or they don't pay any attention to it. Yeah. <sighs> but it does nothing in between. Fucking cats. <laughs> cats just do whatever they want no matter what, what the rules are. Don't They're either very <laughs> chill or they are, like, gonna find a new way to get in your couch's asshole. It will, it will make them like what Obi is in the morning. He is either... Like the hyperest puppy ever, and he's like, "Wake up, wake up!" You know, or he's just like, and you pick him up as a because he's tired, but he's never just like, "Hey, good morning," you know. Mm-hmm. You might go to wall to keep him out of our bedroom. Yeah, or she, I guess it's a she, and mm-hmm. it jumps over it. Oh yeah, yeah, jump rod. Right. So like, she's making your bedroom great again. Politics. <laughs> <laughs> this here slice of blind wave politics for the week. Oh, this is quite cool. Okay. This is this is quite cool. It's Twenty removable posters. Ooh. Oh. DC. And they're all hot chicks. Oh, the ladies of the DC universe. Yeah. This is volume two. I believe. I believe we have DC volume one. Volume one. Yep. Ah. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of these posters look familiar. Okay. I feel like I've seen the Supergirl one before. Maybe these are just like voted fan hey, favorites. Let me see for science. <laughs> what? How about I send you a picture of the back? <laughs> I like how there's like one dude and all that mix in the lower left. Where? And there's a dude in the top left it? as well. Is it Constantine? Hey, dudes are hot sometimes. A Punisher, I couldn't really. It's Batman Beyond. Very cool. I tried to put it in the middle to share it with Eric, and then he just took it. Yeah, it's really awesome. <laughs> That's the animated series Catwoman, right? Is it? Yep. I've never seen it. So good. That's the Michelle Pfeiffer one. Yep. So good. Uh, ooh, Barbara Gordon. Uh, what's up, Mira? Oh, man, chick. Mira. Mira. <laughs> Amber Heard. Yes. We'll see if she'll continue to be him. Mm. Starfire. Wonder Woman. There you go. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Artsy. And then just flash and reverse flash, because that's sexy as hell, too. It is. Great. Well, this isn't just sexy posters, right? Michelle going... Pfeiffer is licking her own hand. I mean, she's a cat. She's movie. Okay, cats do that. Eric? I've seen the cat lick yeah. itself. Are flash and reverse flash going head to head, like, towards each other? Uh, they're... Their groins are pointed at each other. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. I don't know where we're going with this. Thank you! Thank you! Person. Thank you! Who was it? Thank you. There thank you, was person. no name. Also, if I didn't say it, thank you, Benjamin. I'll give that to the, the family. I'll give that to the creature. 
I don't want the cat to think it's me. <laughs> it's already like, it's, Melon's, it, it did something and I, I pet it, and then it started like rubbing along my leg and stuff. She goes, Aaron, it's doing, so, I don't know what she said. She's like, I haven't seen it do that to anybody yet. I'm like, no, I don't want this. It's, it's putting <laughs> its scent on you. It's scent on you. Yeah. Also, it's going to smell the toys and smell you on them because you unboxed them. No. And it's like, oh, no. oh these They're wrapped are, in plastic. These, these are, are from Matt. Also, Matt. if it detects any other female cats around your house at all, it'll start spraying piss everywhere. So you might want to get it fixed. Well, it's only like two months old. That's... Or three months old. It'll start. Or something. It'll just... Females don't do that. Well, they do, don't they? No, females don't. I right, think they do. Males mark the territory. They both. Cats spray piss. Rights. Huh? For breeding rights, only males have the the musk. The spray things. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, female cats still pee. Yeah. But they don't do the thing. I guess. Calvin, so. I'm trying to have truth and false things. <laughs> yeah, but when I agree with you on a crazy thing, then he doesn't know. A thing I saw about, uh, I think it was about dogs. It was like if you, like, getting a neuter or spayed, like, everyone's like, always do it. But there was a thing I was looking at that was like, if you do it before they reach two, or when they're two, which is when a lot of people recommend it, it can hinder their growth and it depends hormones that use it. Like, it depends, it depends on the breed. Well, yeah, it, it, it has different effects on each one. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes it, like, ruins, like, their hip joints and stuff, yeah. too, or it causes other issues and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, I go was, to your vet. I was like, I wonder if you. cats do that. Um, uh, cats are more uh, an issue, like, you want them to mature, uh, fully before you get them fixed, otherwise they'll always, like, have, like, an improper instinct until they've, like, they'll past try to, like, know? watch Star they Trek before puberty, they watch Star basically. Wars. That would be a terrible thing, yeah. I don't want that for my cat. It's gotta watch Star Wars first. Mm -hmm. Maybe never watch Star Trek. Go, Rick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why you like Star Wars. Because I'm a... One side versus the other, where Star Trek is my... inclusivity to all sides. No. No. It's because I got neuter early. Oh, yeah? Who includes the board, Calvin? Huh? They do get included. Star Trek you keep has watching. the board what? in it. Yeah, I know they have the board, but the board are trying to assimilate. They're trying to include everybody. But ain't nobody want them. You gotta keep watching. Go away, board! Because they're trying to control everybody. Go away, nice. board! I'm gonna rise above this discussion and... Steins Gate, Mom! Ah! Like, very cool. That's great. It's got a clock. I, I like oh, it's them between. Okay. I, love I it. just saw the clock on one side and I was like, yep. So good. That's pretty cool. What are you doing? The opening. How's it go? Ah, so you just, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mysterious Benefactor. Thank you. I know that there was Shizuki in there somewhere. Man, I really thought that wasn't going to be cat stuff. <laughs> this is from and Nate. Still upset. Uh, so funny. Nate from somewhere. Nate from somewhere. <laughs> Are you clapping with your eyes? <gasps> <laughs> All right. This is National Geographic's Kids. Bet you didn't know. Fascinating, far out, fantastic facts. Mm, what do we know? This is literally cat facts. <sighs> yes. A litter of kittens. All right. Well, Read the back one. I guess I won't know that one. Uh, it's called a Kindle. What? Because you burned them. A litter of so kittens. Amazon named their tablet it's after a group a of Kindle. kittens. Yes. What? Kindling. That's kindling. Yeah, you Not get a Kindle. You take a Kindle and then you're kindling them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the index. Find cat catnip. We're going about catnip. Oh. 144. I guess I need to know that now. Uh, perf perfect facts about cats. Oh my gosh. Some cats are allergic to people. Well, that's uh, that's weird. Adult cats so, only meow to communicate with people, not other cats. Wait, wh what? Adult cats they meow only cats? meow to communicate with people, yeah. not other cats. Yeah, cats are self-domesticated. We had a cat up. We had, we had a cat. We had the cat up in the cage, and we were all eating dinner, and then mm -hmm. we were meow, yeah. meow, yeah. meow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, when I was a kid, uh, my cat, I, I it had a very specific meow whenever one of its kittens that were feral. To like come, so I would just I would go out and do it like meow 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 
ah, like that, and the kids would run and see me and run away. It's funny. And then they never trusted their mother again. Never again, they died. Uh, catnip can affect lions and tigers. Okay. Just needed much greater quantities. <laughs> Felix the cat was the first balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The first that? balloon ever? Yeah. Uh, people in the United States own about 88 million cats and 75 million dogs. That number has exploded since its publication last month. I want to know how many cats aren't owned. <laughs> Billions. <laughs> There's at least 10 of them out there. At least 10, 10 yeah. is a small number. Uh, some experts believe cats were domesticated at least 8,000 years ago in Egypt, Aaron. Where is their natural habitat? I mean, have you seen a bobcat? Worldwide. Probably there. It's here. Is it? Yeah. Have you ever seen Bobcat? Uh, Melanie thinks there was one clawing on our house. Then no. I didn't see it, no. <laughs> I, she, I was here late one yeah. night, and apparently they heard a noise that they swore. The Baba described it as like pyramid head. <laughs> like something dragging something across the deck outside the house. Okay. They think it was, Melanie thinks it was hmm. Bobcat. She thinks that it clawed up the side of our house. Okay. The corner. Cats communicate using at least 26 known cat words. Calvin, examples, go. Hmm? 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 Yeah. Ah, that's a slur, you can't say that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all cats are born with blue eyes. Uh, a cat named Stubbs is the honorary mayor of Talkiniti, Alaska. That is true. Hmm. That's it. Spider facts! No! no. <laughs> well, very cool. I don't know how. You knew we were going to feature cat facts so much, this mailbag, but this worked well, out perfectly. I think it's just the things you didn't know yeah. that happens to have cat facts in it. Such as, is there facts about... Is there any other Otters. animals you guys would like? Porcupines in there. Uh, there's dragons. Let's that's, do that. That's not at all like a porcupine. I know. <laughs> They're both fictional. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a porcupine? What yeah. kind of facts are you gonna give me about dragons? They don't exist. The world, the world's longest beard was more than 17 feet long and is stored in the Smithsonian. I think it was about animals. It's just about whatever. It was a it's dog. Facts you didn't know. It was a dog's beard. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just uh, facts of amazing proportion. This is a very cool book. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Fire trucks. It's not just cats. It's, it's just far that... out fantastic facts. No, not yeah. just cats. I thought it was about animals, though. No. Not at all. It's just facts. F fucking idiot. There's just something about pizza in there. I like pizza. Rubens? Rubens! There was a Ruben in there. Damn it! Rubens! There was eggs. I love Rubens. You know what? It's interesting that cats are, can be allergic to people, since people can be allergic to cats. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Thank you! Can people be allergic to people? Thank you! Yeah. Uh, yeah. They can be allergic to themselves. They can be allergic to... I know this is going to sound like I'm making it up, but there's people that are allergic to other people's semen. They, like, break out. Yep. Really bad. Yep. Anaphylactic shock. That's true. It's like a xenomorph's blood. I, I does it acid away at them. I'm allergic to other people's semen. How do you know? Have you had a control test? <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried? Is this a hypothesis? <laughs> I didn't think this through. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what you eat affects it, right? So, like, unless they're just allergic to the thing that they've been eating. Maybe. Or they've eaten like, so much, they're... I've heard they've eaten allergic. so much human that like, they're allergic to it now. Pineapple is supposed to change it, right? Yeah, pineapple is supposed to make it, like, sweeter, and you're supposed to be able to change, like, the... Vis it just makes the viscosity. Vis it yeah, makes don't use that your, word. Your the viscosity body. of it? Yeah. We didn't say moist. Don't use that word. <laughs> Calvin, what's the cat word for vistosis or whatever it is? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's this one here? You hesitate a lot with that box. What is it? Yeah. What is this, Aaron? Oh. Mm. Okay, so... I, in a video, made a Party in the Elevator reference, because my kids sing this song, uh, Party in the Elevator, <laughs> which was from FGTV. Okay. It was a music video. Apparently, the... Maybe this note tells me exactly. They, like, produced it, the music video. They watched us 
And they're like, Aaron, did you just sing this? They tweeted me. I was like, yeah, I did. He's like, I'm gonna send you something. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> they sent this. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah. So there's a, there's a so your kids watch the thing, you sang it in a video, and the people that made the thing are like, hey, hey, he sang I made video. that. I worked on that video. Okay. And they're like, hey, I'm gonna send you a thing. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, sure. let's check it out. Hey, crew at Blind Wave. Hello. We hey. were all super psyched. We were all, we all were super psyched when Aaron dropped the party in the elevator lyrics during your Doom Patrol reaction video. Uh -huh. Hope you enjoy this party in the elevator playset and feel free to hit the button. Included inside in a video is over. Is in, in, uh, included inside in a future video. All the best, Sam Robinson and the FGTV crew. Wow, well, that's a small world after all. So yeah, so no, my kids watch. Sing the song. Party, party, party in the elevator. It, it's. It, uh, I'm it's, assuming it's better than that. Probably. That's well, <laughs> the other night, my son is keeping me. I don't know that. Fairly odd thing. Huh? Oh, yeah, I do know that one. <laughs> so it's a music video. Um, kid, kids sing it. How, how do I do, what do I do with this? Uh, I think the front might slide. It's kind of what it looks like from back here. Going all the way up. Ah! There you go. So is this like, <laughs> like Kids Bob version of the other the other version of the song? No, like I, they that's their song, I believe. Like they did it, and they made a music video because they do a YouTube channel and they do all kinds of stuff. And okay. my kids have watched them for like a long time. All the way up. Isn't this like the Have a Good Time? Oh, okay. I got pizza. That's yeah. a different song. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There's a disco ball? And you know what? Disco ball for you can't color. copyright us because you sent us a gift, and that's how copyright law works. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what? I don't know what all this is. Look at all this stuff. You wow. Put an elevator, wow. Aaron. What do I build? You How do I do it? Save this for your children. Damn. Would have kept them occupied for hours. <laughs> Trying to solve the mystery of this Aaron box. realizing his folly. Oh, there's, a, there's glow neck assembly stuff. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Made a little shirt October. Calvin, got a screwdriver? Yeah. Can you no. unscrew that? E yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. But yeah, no, I, th I thought it was, it was just funny because it was a, it was a situation of like, my kids watch this YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm on another YouTube channel. Yeah. And then the there was something that happened alive. with an elevator or whatever in Doom Patrol, and I was like, party in the elevator. Gotcha. And then they were like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. So this is a funny situation. But yeah, I was like, oh no, yeah. Um, just send it to our P.O. box, and then we'll open it. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I want to know what this does. It probably uh, magnetizes the disco ball, and then the disco ball spins with lights. I don't, I think it's a button. Is it a button? <laughs> Damn! The letter would indicate that it's some sort of button. Yeah. Put the batteries in. <laughs> Maybe this sings a song. Whoa. Everybody, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it me. does do it, but... <laughs> hang, the, cool. hang the disco ball from it, please. Screw it back in. It doesn't hang from that. Oh man, I was so hoping it wasn't gonna play the song. I was really gonna get you. Hang on. Party in the I can't concentrate with this catchy song playing. Party, party, party in the Look at that. Look how shiny it is. Oh, oh, oh. I got my car, car, car. With, with the train. I like a party in the elevator Yeah. No, it's kind of, this doesn't attach it. There's nothing to attach it to. I thought it was a magnet in the middle. There's nothing there. <laughs> well, no, instead, of they, instead of like hardcore uh, drugs and stuff, they have like Cheetos and is stuff. This, it's funny. Is this open? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of funny what they have in there. <laughs> it's for kids, you know? I would be careful there. It does open. This has 72 million views. It does. Good for them. Dude, no, FGTV, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's FGTV. Sell, like, there's stuff you can find on Walmart. They have 6.6 yeah. million subscribers. So many. Ah, you're coming along, FE family. You'll get there. 
<laughs> There's so much laws. Ah! Little little characters. Alright. And I think you're having more fun with this Man, than we a, kid would have. We had a blind way play set. Yeah. What would that be? Just like angry action figures on a table. We might maybe we might have, I don't know if we could sell it in public. <laughs> <laughs> Not the kids. <laughs> no, not at all. There's a battery hatch in the back of that one guy's head. And I'm pretty... Yeah, there is. I don't know exactly what... Oh. Looks like a... Ooh. Oh, nice. Don't play the song, Fuck. Eric. It just I lights... wasn't ready. Look. <laughs> it just lights up. <laughs> like, whoa, this plays it too. <laughs> and I think these are just glow sticks. Okay. Yeah. Glow sticks are amazing. Yep. Ching. Look at that there. You, uh, you shouldn't open the other ones because they are UV sensitive. I'm not gonna open them, I just opened the one. I okay. wanted to make sure it was a glow stick. <laughs> You're UV sensitive. I know. And then these are some kind of necklace thing that you put uh, on, the... and then you hang the thing on it, and then you can like... Hang the glow stick on it? Yeah. yeah. Or the, the disco ball. I guess you could hang a disco ball from your neck, Calvin. You'd yeah. be like the Flava Flav of the disco. Is we the need disco a ball on scale? That's ginormous ah. compared to those. We need a button we Have can press and just like a, a disco ball like comes down giant, and like, like lights hit it and it's like. Ball? Ball? That'd be great. That'd be cool. Like a hype button. Like no. they're like three feet. That across. would be pretty cool. I'd like we need that. to do that. Calvin. What? We, new, new idea. We, we have a new idea. We need like when things get really hype, we need a button like hype button and a disco ball comes down and like lights hit it and the lights little flicker and stuff. And we dance. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing? Yeah, that would be amazing. Set it up. <laughs> <laughs> What's my budget? What's I don't know. Ten dollars. What's my budget? Man, I can fit all. I can fit the TV. It'd be in. awesome. Like whenever like an AMET OP comes on, we just. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Thank you so much. Um, I also kind of mentioned to my kids. I'm like, hey guys, you want to know something that happened to me today? Yeah. And You're like, just like flaunting. Like, like I'm what? successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that, kids! Yeah, hey, cat, Everybody's come here! Their favorite oh, yeah? Cartoon. You know how you like that YouTube channel? They talk to me! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> me! We're getting Not rid of the you. cat! <laughs> they don't even know who you are! Uh, so I, t I told them about it, and I was like, I don't know what exactly it is, but I thought you guys might think it was cool. That's cool. And they're like, ah, oh. like, I'll let you know what happens. Mm. I'm gonna get this back together! That one stacks on top of that one. And then they all fit inside the elevator! Oh, I can hang the disco ball in there! That one goes there. Look at that. That's so cool. I don't, I don't know what happened. Then you do that set to recreate M. Night Shalaman's devil movie. Shalaman's? M. Night Shalaman. Shamalamalan. Shamalamalan. Shalaman. Well, thank you very much, Sam. I appreciate it. There's a video. Our puppy wrote his first note, and it's like a dog holding like a pen. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to click it. <laughs> What is this? Implying his multiple notes. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, well, thank you guys so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. That's really cool. Calvin, you are up. It's from Mr. No Name. Mm. Seemed to have discarded my knife. Here it is in my back. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I didn't tell you guys about that. I thought someone met me. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I vaguely remember you singing the elevator song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really cool. Also, in the same vein as Green Lantern, we have Green Arrow. Oh! oh it's a cool looking box again. Holy shit, hell yeah. That's really sweet, Mr. No Name. Awesome. No, it's not the exact same, but Aaron, that's kind of similar to the one that we used to have that broke. So we have a good replacement, and it's better. Oh, yeah, yeah this one, this it's one not exactly is full draw, like that other one. Like this it. one's like lower. I love and the it. bow is detachable. One tenth scale. Yeah. yeah. Our, a couple of our statues had, had a rough time. I think in the transition. It was in the move, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one green our statues, we never found its head. No, we found right there. a head. Well, that, that is not its that's head. Not its head. Okay, we need to, we it need looks to like a Goomba or something. You know I mean? It looks like a ghost from fucking uh, Lovecraft Country. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Calvin. No. I know there's lost his head now. That was something else. <laughs> that's not. That's not it. 
Look at that. Why right. did we do this? <laughs> Whose head is it? <laughs> I don't know. I think but... someone just found a head and, like, <laughs> and they put it there. And it's been like that for years. <laughs> it's been like that since the move. Look at, look at his shoulder pads. He's like a fucking... <laughs> it's like it, his head would pop out of his shoulders. <laughs> like a turtle. Wait a minute. It's like Earthworm Jim. Wait a minute. That's Ray, isn't it? No. Isn't that Let Ray? See. Let me see. No, that's from. It looks like him, but that's from a uh, Batman. Is it? Yeah. Cause I remember we had a an atom pop or an atom like statue thing uh -huh. that could like swap out pieces and stuff. <laughs> it's not that thing. someone did it. It's you that we. This left. is li look at the dust on this thing. It's literally been like that for years. <laughs> Never change. We'll anyway, the, thank you for this. We'll put this in the next arrow <laughs> reaction. The tiny head one or the good? I gotta do that, man. Wait, no, you don't set it down there, you can break it. Just go I put it back. I'm gonna break it again, Eric. Go put it back. You're gonna break his arrow off. No, we're gonna have to find a tiny arm. You're gonna break his shaft. Can't find where the hole is. That's what she said. That's not what she said. She knows where it is. Eric, were you missing the front or the back hole? He was trying to find a hole to shove Green Arrow's foot in. Thank you. Thank you. I'll show you where you can show your foot. This is Rick and Maggie. Oh. Aww. Rick, be careful. It's probably a trap. And it's not probably for, for Maggie. <laughs> it's a matter of high Q. Probably fit. That's what you want to think. Or fruits basket. It's going to be filled with cat stuff. Or candy land. Well, Wait, didn't Rob basket. say something about a gift for you? Oh, it is from Rob. You're right. I know I told you about this. Good call. Didn't he say to open it during a high queue with Maggie? Yeah, you're right. I'm remembering now. It's huh. not opened. The plastic isn't ripped. It's just the tape. We will cut to that now. Then Wait. The There's side. a package in mailbag to Rick and Maggie. They'll know it when they get it. Didn't have time to include a note. If Rick feels like um, you could open it in their next high queue reaction, but that's up to them. It's up to you, Rick. Go. Okay. Do you want to open it now or with her? I'll open it with her. Okay. There you go. Cut to it now. All right. Mailbag. Home edition. <laughs> we were sent something to you and me from Rob. Oh, well, thank you, Rob. Editor of Haikyuu. I'm sure he watches. He's the only one I'm sure that also watches. Also editor of Mailbag. Well, this is looking good already. I don't know what it is either. It looks good. It's Haikyuu related. So we got... So I think I took them back to work. I have to bring them back here. But um, we got a small figure. Ooh. Nice! <laughs> Finally, we got the girls! Yachi! Yeah, so we got um, we have a bunch of Haikyuu figures already. Uh, one of them is the sort of smaller scale that has Hinata with like a trash can or a raven and goes into uh, like a set. But we also have just a bunch of like the entire team as well as their third year manager. But this is their new manager, which we didn't have yet. Yachi's amazing! Yeah, she's adorable. We haven't got to see too much of her in a little while. She's been reacting. She has been. She does our job. But I really like her story with her mom and everything. How she asserted herself to join the club. Oh, she's adorable. Hey, this one's that's she's a nice happy. figure. Her normal yeah. state is, I feel like, more worried. Or, you know, where they have the little swirls over the eyes and she's like, oh. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Thank you, Rop. Thank you very much, Rop. <sighs> now we're back. <laughs> Eric! Eric! Eric, come back! I don't know why I was thinking of Hocus Pocus. He's like, fuck! Come back to mama! <laughs> Mama. I forget what she said, Mama, Mommy, she said something like that. She said a bowl. Yeah, Mama. I, I do that. I say Mama. two words. At once. Aaron. What? Oh, <gasps> Eric. A black oh, widow. Oh. A black widow right there. Dear oh, agents yeah. Eric and oh. Aaron, I was hoping on sending these before the series finale, but it took a little while to arrive. I hope these will help you show off being new S.H.I.E.L.D. agents under Director Shaw. Open package! <gasps> oh, oh! Oh, this is so cool, the Tink Squad! <laughs> you guys won't get this. Nothing, nothing <laughs> for money. 
Uh, cool. It was sure sad to watch the finale of S.H.I.E.L.D., but man, did it go out with a bang. I had never gotten to watch it live before, so this season was the only time I was able to watch it live with you guys and the rest of the fandom. Uh, it was fun to be able to be more invested into the show before it went away. Uh, Clark Gregg was supposed to go to a convention in my whole hometown this year, but because of everything that's happened, the convention has been postponed to next year. Damn. Hopefully everything will blow over by then, and he'll be able to show up next year. Uh, I got a question for you guys. Was there anything that you wish they had brought back up before the series ended? I know mine was Vijay Nadir. Uh, we never got to see what happened to him. I think that was just a consequence of Inhumans failing so bad. Yeah, I think it's one of the biggest, yeah. like, left open things yeah. out of anything they did really. Loose threads. I would have liked to have seen, uh, because uh, Marvel's Most Wanted didn't go through, I would have liked to have seen maybe some Hunter Bobby stuff. Yeah, because they were gone for a while. But yeah, since you did they had the Inhuman show coming out, or movie, yeah. and it, it bounced around between movie, TV show, and whatever else they were going to do with it, and there was like one character that we think they were going to use for something in there, and then it never happened, and then they just kind of like got forgotten. Anyway, I know this is a short letter, but there's not much to talk about. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the shows. <laughs> uh, from Agent G of the Dig Squad, Aww. Lots of Lemons. Lots of Lemons. Lots of Lemons. Well, thank, thank you. you, Agent G. This is cool. Very cool. Is that I like the, it. Gr- the, the Geek Squad? No, it's the Deke Squad. Nope, it's a it's a band shirt. Yeah, the oh. D Squad. That's awesome. Tour of '83. Fantastic. I will wear this a lot because it's actually a pretty cool shirt. It, it is. It, it is it's, soft. It's good material. It's so yeah. soft. Very cool. Oh, right Thank now. you so much. That's on my head now. All right. What is this? Um, Blind Wave from Aways. Aways. Yeah, this came from quite a ways uh, in India. Yes. Yep. I hope it's a. I mean, a way sometimes gives us life updates. This is going to be a big letter. Yeah. Very big. That's a lot of updates. It's, um, it's like Windows level updates. Hey, you said Windows. I don't know. Oh, whoa. Middle Earth. It's a map of Middle Earth. Gosh, that's awesome. A ways. That is really cool. Which part of Earth is considered the middle? That one. Like Europe? I mean, to the west is the lands of the elves and stuff, so... Is this to mount it? Is Earth the land is called Maybe. Midland? Uh, the Easterlings oh. are like a tribe of evil men. That's pretty awesome. Very cool. That's better. Fuck you. <laughs> In terms of like the size and scale, this uh, the Shires around here, mortars right here, and the Frodo went like this. Right? That's like going from the Midwest to Florida. Is that the scale? Is how long it took? Wow. A map that inspired every single D and D campaign map ever. Uh, I like that you're like drawing. I did the exact thing. They went up to Bree. They went over to Rivendell, the Misty Mountains, down the Misty Mountains. They went back up here to the the gate, but then they had to come back here to Shelob, the Amir's uh, mobile, and then down to Mount Doom. And they took very short steps to get there. Yes. Mm. They should have just like came here and then took the water around to there. Should just went as the eagles fly. On the Eagles. I don't know. The water route looks pretty good. It's a cool little map, though. Very cool. I like it. Um, <clears throat> by Professor Tolkien himself. No. Yeah. This one. Just, he did this. No. Hello, crew. At Hello. The Wave. It's been a really long time since I've seen you guys. Uh, oh, since I've sent you guys anything. There's a reason which will be explained in a letter you will hopefully be receiving soon. Stay safe. I love you guys from Aways. MG. Thank you, always. Thank you, always. This, this is an amazing gift. That's, that's the God of Rohan! We One didn't the, get a letter. It's not from him, is it? Nope. I already read it. It's from Danny. One of the biggest things that's hard about making maps is mm. figuring out water. Yeah. So I was just curious on how they ran their water with different things. Because lots of times you get water splitting, but it always usually comes from like... You get it from like a forest or a mountain usually, and then it flows to the ocean. Mm-hmm. You always gotta make it flow to the ocean. I was looking at this when I was trying to make maps for D&D. Oh, you're trying to judge Professor Tolkien? On his map making skills? Yeah. yeah. How are they? Um, from what I see, I'm trying to find where all the rivers are. 
Yeah, they all they all go to the sea. Yeah, the main one I saw like right there. Like I like the little bay area and stuff yeah. there. So like that yep. seems good. But, yeah. Yep. Some, sometimes people will like take it up, you know, but it will come down from one and split off as it goes. Usually you don't have rivers converging and things like that. They're merging. Oh. There was Gondor when the West Ford fell. I think they usually split or they converge to where they're going to the like the main like hmm. ocean thing. That's a know. silly joke. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Was it a Lord of the Rings joke? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's why I think it. I don't know what these are. Is when King, ah! when King Theoden was yelling at Aragorn, where was Gondor when the Westfold fell? And Eric was like, oh, there was Gondor when the West Point fell. <laughs> Never moved. <laughs> it's Calvin's turn. Yeah, Calvin. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this well, has documents enclosed. Oh, I'm maybe surprised. It's too blind wave. That table. Hold up. No, wait, maybe they don't split. They converge. It's from. Damn it, what was the rule? I forget now. Megan Bourne. Oh my god. It's, it's Jason's Megan sister. Born. Twin. So he has a twin sister. Ah! Huh? Jesus. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> that was your finger that fell. That's it. Rivers don't split, they converge. That's the one. Yeah. That's yes. the main rule. Except if you're the Nile and it has a delta, which it splits many, many times before it goes into the Mediterranean. Is this for us? The wicker basket. What is it? Not the bees! Oh god, is it bees? <laughs> uh, Oh, what well, is it? Okay. Ah! I told you what it is. The knife, Calvin! Jesus. Is there like a baby in it? Oh, oh here it is. What? I've been wondering when it was going to count. Uh, what? Yes! So, Peaky Blinders, there's a video game. Oh! And they sent us a code for the game. Dear and more Peaky stuff. Player, you have in your hands something we believe is quite rare and precious. Should I read it? No, I can't read it in the accent. A result of taking big creative risks. Peaky Blinders, as you'll have no doubt seen, is a mega hit that is popular all over the world, and yet our little team was selected to work with it. Why? It came down to a simple idea, which is at the heart of the show, which illuminates how Tommy Shelby sees the world. Hmm. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That was great. (laughs) Because it goes into a quote of him. Uh. Uh... the one minute, the soldier's minute, in a battle, that's all you get. One minute of everything at once, and anything before is nothing. Everything after is nothing. Nothing in comparison to that one minute. Hmm. Okay. It's so another way of saying, be conscious of the here and now, young Padawan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love Tommy for his smarts, his ability to run circles around his foes, often roping in friends and family to do his bidding without them necessarily understanding why. The audience is roped in two, kept in the dark about his true motives until the soldier's minute arrives, and everything fits together perfectly, revealing his genius plan at the end of each season. At Future Lab, we are inspired by dance and choreography. We saw, we saw Tommy's skillful deployment of his crew as a kind of dance, choreographing each character's actions to fulfill small roles in his larger plan, ensuring nothing is left to chance. And so, in Peaky Blinders' Mastermind, the player will feel Tommy Shelby's power as a master manipulator, swapping between each character to synchronize actions in parallel using a nifty timeline mechanic. This allows the player to puzzle through uh, the complex scenarios in order to pull off daring jailbreaks or elaborate heists, where multiple characters need to work together in sync. The final product is a game that we uh, we believe reflects what makes the show tick, winning through wit, not force, and so we hope it resonates what, uh, with fans as a result. Uh, these last few months have been trying time for us all, and yet our team has shown remarkable patience and dedication to delivering an experience that is worthy of Peaky Blinders. Mm. Personally, I think the game is smart and sophisticated, like Tommy Shelby. We sincerely hope you like it. James Marsden, Games Director at Future Labs. Uh, Future Lab. Uh, P.S. Good luck, and remember, you really are a Peaky Blinder now. Stephen oh. Knight, creator and writer of Peaky Blinders. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Nice. Cool. Yeah, we covered the hat though, right? Because there's like knives or something in it. There's, there's razor, blades. razor blades. So they take it like this from the back and they whip it at you like that. 
and throws the razor blades at him? No. Oh. The razor blades stay sewn in, but you slash people's yeah, eyes it's, it's, and stuff. It's not an odd job. It's more of a melee weapon. Yeah. All right, what else is in there? But this is really cool. So here's the download code. Yep. Okay, making sure it didn't show any codes. Right? I like the box. I know. The box hey. is really cool. So they, amongst many things that they do, but one of those things is smuggling. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Bard of the Peaky Blinders, Ooh. introduced by Stephen Knight, the official tie-in to the hit TV series. Ooh. That's really cool. So it basically tells you everything that the show describes so that you can... Ooh, what's that? Uh, this is really cool. It's like a, a noir Leave kind of feel. Chance. Leave nothing to chance. Leave nothing to chance. That's pretty great. Oh, the accent. I haven't seen the show. Leave nothing to chance. Right? It wouldn't have mattered, Eric. <laughs> what? <laughs> he wouldn't have got it anyway. Leave nothing to chance. Leave nothing to chance. So it's probably close. Like, just keep taking, like, different accents. Like, what could it be? Yeah. Yeah, leave nothing to chance. <laughs> <laughs> leave nothing to chance. What, what was that one? I don't know. That's Jamaican. I was like, well, I guess it's Leave Jamaican. nothing to chance now. <laughs> Call me now for a free reading. <laughs> well, that's super cool. I want to double check that there's nothing else in the packing material. What would the Canadian one be? Oh. Leave nothing to chance, eh? No, that's uh, too, too uh, Irishy. Uh, uh, sorry. 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 Leave nothing to chance. What, what are you saying? I'm trying to figure out the Canadian version of that. Leave nothing to chance, eh? Sorry. That's what I did. I was worried it was too, like, ah! too, like, I don't know, Irish or something. I'm excited to try that game. It looks interesting. It looks uh, like a combination of Invisible Ink and Frozen Synapse. Hmm. I don't know either of those. Uh, I am super excited as well. I like the box. I'm like box a cat. Cool. I like the box. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, Steven. thank you so much. Thank you. And James. Is that the James Marsden? I don't know if you have <laughs> one lab. I doubt it, but probably not. Could be but another hey, one. good on you for keeping that name. <laughs> good. Um, yes. Biggie Blinders is great. You guys should watch it you on your own time. Definitely should watch it. It's tremendous. It fun lab. It's not the real James Marsden. Maybe it could be. Did you know? <laughs> did you know Chris Evans started a, a a thing that's about like political facts called. A starting point? I did know that. Nope. So you're, I'm just saying, if you were like, oh, look, starting points, a political thing. You're like, yeah. oh, it's with Chris Evans. Like, Chris Evans. Like, no, Chris Evans? Like, nah, that's silly. It is! It's not the same! Chris Evans. <laughs> Does James Morrison have anything to do with Peaky Blinders? All I know is well, that Steve Blackman has nothing to do with Umbrella Academy. Yeah, but that's <laughs> what I've done. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> one more package. That would have been a great one, though. Boba Skywalker. Boba? It's a big one. Ooh, Boba told us about this. Or told me about this. And also, the comedy. So he singer, told you about this already? No, he said something's coming. Spoilers. Yeah, also, the singer songwriter, Ray Stevens, yeah. has nothing to do with black sales. Oh. Rick, would you like also, a cutty tool? James Marsden is not about people like this. It's fun lad people, right? That made the game. Yeah. Maybe he works on his off time for video games. Future lab. Future lab. That's what I couldn't find. I put in fun lab. Yeah. Oh God. Try, try it now. Wait, try it now. Wait. Future lab. Uh, future is without an E. It's the coon. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> the oh ball. my gosh. It's the coon. Dude, we, we were talking about this game uh, in a few mailbags ago. We were. I saw a comment where someone was like, man, I thought they were talk when they were talking about the game, they were calling it the fractured butthole. And I was, I was like, well, we were. <laughs> yeah, that's why they named it that. That's, that's, it's the play on words that they Kid. have for it. Ooh. Fractured Reverse. butthole. The fractured butthole. Hey, guys. Hope you were having a good mailbag. Bubba Skywalker here. Hey, Bubba! Yeah, Bubba. A little here, about Bubba. myself, for those who don't know. I'm from yeah. Texas, USA. Always here. I've seen every video uploaded on this channel and the old channel. Yes, every video. Every. Damn. 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 Even the videos. minis paint videos. Bubba and I are lucky friends at Pokemon Go. So the next, the next Pokemon Texas. that we uh, that we uh, trade will be a lucky Pokemon. I formerly Maybe worked for Blockbuster Video for almost 15 years, so I have seen close to every movie and TV show ever made. Wow. Oh, wow. My favorite show of all time is Quantum Leap. Oh. Oh. Quantum Leap with Scott Bakula? Eric loves that show. Fuck yeah. He knows everything about it. I know one thing about Scott Bakula. 
He also <laughs> plays as a captain of the Enterprise. I knew that. In Enterprise. Yeah. yeah. I'm a Pokemon Go master, a Jedi, and a proud owner of a blind wave tattoo. Yes! Yes, he is. Check out the WaveCon vlog for that. It's great. It's a great tattoo. Along with the guy editing this video, what's up, Rob? He also has a tattoo. He does. Yep. My brother from another mother, Lord uh, Guibachon. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Kevin DeSalvo, who Kevin. is in my prayers, as I'm sure he's in the thoughts and prayers of every wave rider today. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I will try to keep this brief. It has been a minute since my last gift, all the way back in mailbag number nine. Wow. Was number in nine. single nine. digits. Time flies. Yeah. Back in that mailbag, Calvin made a fan for life by showing excitement for a gift he received just a few packages before I was devastated. But Calvin, with his gleeful uh, joy, shouted, Now we have. Now we have him as bookends! Yes! Oh. Now we have them as bookends! And I've been all in ever since. Joining the family on Discord, been a patron for years, finally saving money to come to WaveCon last year, which was one of the best weeks of my life. Part of the Done. reason for coming to WaveCon was, of course, to meet all of you beautiful people. Also to tell Kevin thank you for his reaction to my gift way back at number nine. Hmm. Like I said, diehard fan for life. I wonder what it was. Jesus. For me, mailbag is the best part of the week. I also know that I am down. If I am down having a bad week, mailbag will cheer me up and it never fails. Which is what brings me to this package and the inspiration to fill it to the top. It is quite full. Yeah. Benjamin Bangarang, who I made sure to seek out during WaveCon just to say thanks, but I want to do it again now. I have not laughed so hard than when watching the crew open some of your gifts. It amazes me how much you can fit in one box. It's so, crazy. But that is my inspiration. I fit as much as I could yeah, in look, one box. Oh, this cat shit. He's like Tetris champion. Yeah. He's like Resident Evil 4 inventory champion. Yeah. So thanks, Benjamin. I appreciate it almost as much as the crew. With that said, let's get to the box. Let's do it. As far as the contents, I like how... So he's been numbering the pages, and page four is 420. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> As far as the contents of the box goes, Aaron Funny knows story, about right? something I said I was sending a thank you for the Dark Souls streams, Ooh. which had me laughing for hours. Huh. There's also a Star Wars hey. pouch with some exclusive pins for Eric, so Ooh. thank you for the Jedi Fallen Order and DBZ Kakarot streams. And also a lucky best friend in Go. Pokemon Go. Yes! Uh, lucky! Thanks for opening the gifts. Yeah. I've really been having fun watching the streams at twist.tv slash blindaway, wink wink. Yes. There's also some caps for Calvin and some knee-high yes. socks for Rick. <laughs> As I've heard, for the kill. he's been asking for some. Also in bag is some other pins and Final Fantasy exclusives. Have a good rest of your year and see you at WaveCon 2021. Peace out, Boba. Oh, thank, well, thank you, you so Boba. much, thank Boba. Thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, oh, sorry, I think I do remember. Always here. I think he told me about something with Dark Souls. Mm. We got some pretty yeah. awesome Star Wars socks. I forgot. Dang, those are, that's a lot of socks. Right, we're only getting started. So we got First Order and Stormtrooper. Nice. <laughs> wow. We have Ford Caught him. and BB-88. BB-8. Hey, he had better throw BB-8. Uh, we got Stormtroopers. Oh. Fuck. Stormtroopers. Oh, Damn it. Oh, ah, you uh, fucked up, too. Uh, this one is... Oh, no, this is a bag. This is a Caught pouch. Him. Yeah. Give me, give me good With throw. pins. Well, we got the Kakarot Does pin. Huh. Jedi Fallen Rebel. Order pin. Oh! Ooh, it's a Death Trooper. <laughs> That's it. And the bag is a bunch of like comic panels and covers from Star Wars comics. And it's nice. Sweet. Of old. Also, it looks like a uh, like a glasses slip. Aaron. Mm. So when you're old and you want to put your glasses in your pocket but not have them scratched up by your keys, you slide huh. them in there first. This says. Yeah. Aaron. Good Hit him or. No. Shit. This this says Aaron. Hit him in the butthole. It's a it's a it's a BB-8 cap. Oh, that's cool. What is it? Oh. It's a Dark Souls bonfire. Nice. Oh, you can light it. Now you'll be safe in whatever room you put that. In. And it will flicker with three AAA batteries. Nice. Oh. Or I can plug it in. That's kind of cool. I might put this like on my computer desk or something. To keep the cat away from it. Yeah, my cat can't get up on my desk. It keeps climbing up on Melanie's desk. She's like, get away! Hey, get some pretty nice hats here. That's really cool. This though. is Farming Simulator. 
<laughs> Farming Simulator. <laughs> My Ooh. Kanan loves that game. Do you get it? Yes, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty World War II. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, neat. Wings for victory. Call of Duty as well. Okay. Neat. I lo I'm loving all these hats. Justice League. That's nice. Justice. And it's interesting because there's like the Justice League on that. Oh, on the brim. Nice. That's for That's... the big ones people often wear, like, up here. Mm. Yeah, so you can uh, see the design from the back and the front. Uh, there's three of them. Aha! Nice! Neat! Pretty cool, pretty cool. We have another toboggan Burn. with Justice League Batman. Cool. Batman. Mm. Ooh, that one's nice and big. Nomi, don't play that. That's what fits you, Eric. That's the uh, Burton Batman symbol. Yeah. No, we don't play that way. No, we don't play that. What is it, Calvin? It's just socks. It's gnome socks. Remember the... Oh, yeah. Meme yeah, so for a while. It, it's a gnome, and then there's like a bunch of gnome mushrooms. Yep. No. I don't... Sweet, sweet. I don't think I gnome that one. Sweet, sweet. Did that, did that work? Doctor Who socks. Doctor Who. I'm pretty sure Melanie does, so why don't you take those gnome? Wibbly, wobbly, timey, wimey. Wow, those are long socks. Mm, well, they they curve. They <laughs> crack under, like, I like this sock. <laughs> oh, those are that's those pretty, are pretty cool. cool. That's great. I like those. Like Doctor Who's torso. Yeah. Is the other one it's the but on your neck? Is the other side tenant? Um. Yeah, kind of. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. Capaldi. It's blue was, with but, like a red tie. Let me see. That almost looks like fives. Uh, Five. I think that. Yeah, that's probably David Tennant. Because it's probably like his coat. It is. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you're right. Whereas Peter Quality would have he did have not the red suit. tie, yeah. and then he would have kind of like this loose flowy thing. Got a bundle of Leia socks. Huh. Nice. That is a bundle. Got and a bundle of Gryffindor socks. Yes. Dang. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Eric is the only Where's here? the Hufflepuff? And they're all very high quality socks as well. Yeah, they are. They're Ooh, nice. Super Mario Brothers post uh, coasters. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, cool. Posters. <laughs> Poster posters. <laughs> Coast posters. Pretty awesome. Space Coast. Pretty awesome. Coast Deadpool Coast. versus the world. Not safe for work. Deadpool makes his adult, his mark on adult gaming. Ooh. Oh. So what style game is it? Uh, it looks like a combination between Cards Against Humanity and Tag. Say Anything. Okay. So you get a card, never underestimate the power of blank, and then you write on the card what your answer is. Mm -hmm. Mm. So never underestimate the power of... Pigeons. Aaron? Um, um, rectal bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Women's Day. <laughs> this card says a good scratch. <laughs> Who the hell gets rectal bleeding is like, eh. Who underestimates that? <laughs> um, that happens, you're like, ah! <laughs> I don't know why that's what I went to. Pigeons! You should under, shouldn't under, 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 under. <laughs> 3D wood model and book. Uh, you can build an A-wing oh, out of wood and seen it. Quaint. Oh, man, that's really cool. That is really cool. You want to build an A-wing? Do it with the kids or something? It looks really sweet. With BB-8 socks. More BB-8 socks. Or just more BB-8. They might break it. We got lanyards for the Avengers, Funimation, mm -hmm. and Pokemon. Cool. Pokemon! Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. We have a Conan box. Ooh. Not that Conan. Nice. Oh, oh. oh, Conan. <laughs> I thought the Barbarian. Not Conan. 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 Conan O'Brien. Conan. It's got Conan. a pin, a puzzle cube. It's, it's like a Rubik's cube. Uh, socks, deck of cards, mystery item one and two. So you know his, <sighs> like, his uh, set members and stuff like that? They're called seamen. Speaking of Conan the Barbarian, though, we have red... Uh, Red Sonya socks. Yeah. Red Sonya! What are the other ones? It's just another pair of Red Sonya? Yeah. Oh, nice! That's sweet. Excellent. We have the Walking Dead socks. Jeez. Wow, that's a lot. Jeez. There's a lot of Walking Dead socks right there. Well, they're all right. Okay. Walking Dead. There's, there's, some Dixon. there's some aliens. There's more Red Sonya. Uh, Red Sonya. So many socks. It's like a whole wardrobe. There's aliens, and there's a unicorn that says, for real? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We got more Doctor Who socks. There is so much stuff in here. Cybermen. Cyber Cybermen. Cybermen. What are these? Cyber Cybermen are different. Yeah, this is the thing from Dragon Ball Z. Cybermen. Cybermen. It's just the accent. It's just the accent. 
We got exploding kittens, dynamite kitten, buildable figure. Hey. Oh, you want to do this one too, Aaron? It's like a Lego style toy. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> What is it? He's watching mailbag number nine. <laughs> On mailbag number nine, we got the soccer boomerang. <laughs> Watch what we On the did movie. In the edit. <laughs> <laughs> so That's stupid. when I we recorded all day and I had no time to edit. I was like, fucking this, I'm not doing any edits. <laughs> Eric, take a Funko mystery box. Okay. Eric. Oh, what's this? Calvin, take a Funko, Funko mystery, mystery box. Mystery box. Dynamite kit. Star Wars Poly Solo card game. So this is the one that they play in solo. You know, like Baccarat. I almost want us to react to our old mailbags and shit to see like what the hell we did back then. It'd be so cringy though. It might be. We'd be like, oh my god, why? This is the solo card game that they play in solo. Oh, oh it's um. Sabak. Wait, was that what's called? I thought Sabak was different. I mean, it's the yeah, one you Sabak and Sabak. Ah. Sabak sounds right. I think it's Sabak. It looks like Sabak. Tom and Jerry plushie. Also, a whole bunch of glow in the dark stars. Nice. Yep, that's what I got too. And a pen of uh, Goofy and his son. Oh, Max. Woo-hoo. His name's Max. Figure, Eric. Maximilian. And a um, uh, fruit brute Pez dispenser. Fruit fruit. Oh! The gargoyles oh. pop. Angela. Angela. Wasn't she from Eliza? I got Max. And Peggy. Yeah. Good job. Nice. See, he knew his name. It's true. It says it on the box. That's also true. Eric, let me see the little gray dude. This? Yeah. Just it, Tom. Oh. I have Jared. Yeah. So you can just play this game. It's 62 cards. You better get Tom before he catches on fire. And there are credits so you can bet. Nice. We better cool. get Tom before he catches on fire. He went inside the light. No, no he's, he's glowing he's, he's, he's on the side of it. <laughs> yes! Aaron! No! Why? What happened? They're glowing the dark. Well, why'd you throw them at me? Because I charged them. I'm cooking mine. Got here's five uh, decals. There's a couple of buttons. Oh shit, it glows in the dark. And a token. That is pretty, pretty cool. Turn the lights off. Look! Whoa. Is that the best way to show it? What the hell are you doing? It glows in the dark! <laughs> That's awesome. Aaron. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, I hit you right in the glasses! No, it hit me like in a tooth. Oh, I was wondering what. <laughs> Guys, the best way to have this war is to literally turn all the lights off and then throw them. <laughs> this all. Oh dear. Shoot! 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 We have to turn the lights off Shoot. first! <laughs> Eric! Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> you still can't really see it. <laughs> They're, they're moving too fast. The damn TV's on! I know. Uh, so oh, you can see that one a little bit. All right. Yeah, you can see those. Time we get hit our TV. There. Can Why? you tell what it is? Now we can't see. Now we can't tell if it looks good. <laughs> there. Let's just do the rest of the po- mailbag like this. But there's more. But wait, there's more. There's a little light peeping through. There's a little peeping through. We got yeah, some really go. cool Avengers buttons that I wish I could show you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> They're thick and made of metal. Wow. Ah! Ah! Not spoons, Calvin. They're not. Huh. Yeah, charge those, and we should just toss them all up. What's left? There's, there's so much more. Is it really? There's exploding kittens. Uh-huh. A uh, house. Yeah. It's like a Lego sort of thing. Yeah. Man, it's like oh, that's cool. <laughs> Look on the TV. Ruff is going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> Samurai Jack Back to the Past, a board game. Gun Jack. Samurai Gun Jack, Jack, Jack board game. Set, that's all right, Jack. Yeah. Jack, Jack. Is Gotta get show? back. Back to the past. The company Samurai Jack on his quest to vanquish the shape-shifting master of darkness, Aku, 
As the beloved companions from Jack's Adventures, players strive to gain the most honor by helping him gain, gather allies, weapons, and traits. Will you be the one to get Jack back from the past and undo the future that is Aku? These are some really, <laughs> really awesome minis. It's kind of scary. It is. Hey, look, I'm the bad guy. Dude, Calvin's is so much brighter glowing than I yours. I wish I could show you. Let me see, Rick. I'll show them. Ah. Look. Hey, look, I'm the bad guy from Bill and Ted 2. <laughs> I don't get it. He just has a light in his collar. <laughs> you can't see the rest of his face. There is Rick and Morty close Rick counters of the Rick Kind deck building game. Ah! Uh, huh. Uh, is it a deck building game? Yep. Hmm. A la Dominion. Dominion! Finally. Finally! Very small things that I cannot see. Oh. Uh, damn it, Calvin, what are you doing? We have Paper Mario ah. and the Origami King. Ah. I'll do this half. Pins. Uh huh. Which is great. <laughs> Looking forward to playing that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that sucks. here we go. <laughs> Can I need you to charge these? Now, this is a pin that I need to figure out how you're supposed to wear pins. What do you mean? This is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's the Smash Wait, logo. All pin. Smash? Yeah, it's oh, all the logo. Oh, shit, yeah. No. No. You yeah. don't get it. Calvin, you have to earn it by beating one of us ah. in Mortal Kombat. But I thought this was about Smash Brothers. Which pin was that? It's Smash, Smash Brothers. Brothers pin. Ah, oh, cool. There's one for Shane, too. He will get it's it. It's okay. I found one on the floor at E3. <laughs> Dude, look at, the, look at the color of the flashlight as it changes. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I'm going to have to start wearing more lapels so I can wear all these pins. <laughs> Smash Brothers. Man, Calvin, this is hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to blow up it's so bright. No, it'll just, it'll just power down when it kills the batteries. And then there's the Final Fantasy VII Remake. There's a tin inside of which... I expected this to be a pin, but it's a card. Oh, it's a Shinra Power Company stack card. Ah, uh, nice. now you can get into the Power Company. Nice. Man, if you'd have had that at E3... I know. When we were going through that... That would have been amazing. <laughs> She'd be like, because that woman, like, like, they were like role-playing Shinra, and, hey, yeah. I'm supposed to be in here. I wonder if you could skip the line. <laughs> I might be able to. There's three of those. Like, if they would be like, nice. all right, come on. What a hall. Hell of a hall. Hell of a hall! Hey, it has a blind Our light. logo's on the side. Yeah. I didn't even notice. That's really cool. Thank you, Boba! Thanks, Thank Boba. you. We'll see you next year. I hate your tea, though. <laughs> hey, we had Boba tea. We huh? knew you were gone. We huh? did. We did. <laughs> did you? Yeah. You sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I, I, I should say I don't like the Boba tea that I had. You might like Aaron's, it was green. All right, I'm gonna kill the lights, Eric. Okay, I just wanna see how much this glows just one, one, like all together. Wow! You see how much better that is now? <laughs> throw them so, up! Ah! Throw them up! Like light bright. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Those are sharp. Get off the disco ball. Shit, I do. <laughs> this is the best thing we've ever done. This is what I've done. All right, guys, thank you very much for this uh, episode of Mailbag. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, you can. Calvin, we need a button that does this. See yeah. your warning. It's amazing. Uh, down in the description is the uh, address for the P.O. Box. Love you. Bye.